orchids. Nice white ones, there's a sort of a pinky one somewhere. Yeah, Mrs. H loves them. Nice, aren't they? Nice change. Anyway, welcome to the midweek shave. How's the week going, alright? <laughs> I hope you're having some good shaves and good weather. Um, it's quite warm here, yeah? quite warm, but no sun, cloudy, but sort of a humidity heat, if that makes sense. Um, right then, we're continuing with the vintage Gillette, well the vintage, not necessarily Gillette, um, line of razors I've got. Um, nice to have them, nice to use them. And this one here, if you remember I used the Gillette Super Speed, the red tip. This is the blue, so it's a milder one. The red is the aggressive, this is the mild, or milder. Um, only short handle, twist to open, twist the blue flared bit there. And I'm using that uh, Gillette 7 o'clock uh, Super Sharp. No, super, I keep calling it Super Sharp, Sharp Edge, sorry. Blade, that's the second use for this. So it's quite a mild, um, I'll show you how this works if somebody doesn't know. You know, you turn, obviously, the lids go down, and once they close, this base goes up. If you notice there, and that locks the blade into place, makes it mild. Arco. And we're using the grey dog brush. That's a um, badger. The badger, this is the big shave scuttle. Pre the soap, I always leave in this scuttle. There's no hot water in this today. And I'm going to use that water as my pre shave. So that's been soaking. So I'll just, uh, as you can see. So that's there. That's the grey dog. Um, that's, isn't that? No, that's the bishop there. The synthetic, if you can see. Uh, beautiful. Holds well, that's a very nice brush. So we'll use this as a, there we go, pre-shave. I still have another haircut. I'm beginning to think this lady that does my hair has won the lottery or something and liked it. Yeah, no, I think her son's just had a baby. I think, um, so she might be doing a lot with them. So, uh, well, I don't blame her. But um, she should. She yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see later on actually to see if she's there. So there we go. So that's that. You can see. The puck always lives in that, and it dries nicely. It doesn't crack or anything. But it's left to dry naturally, obviously. Okay, so let's get on with it. So we've shaken, it has soaked in there, like that. And uh, so we'll go to it. And as you can see, good old fashioned soap. Gather, put it back in. Like anything, Arco, some people love it, I'm one of them, some people hate it, I'm not one of them, and some people don't mind it. So, uh, the scent is a bland scent, just a soap, plain, plain soap. Some, some people have said, it smells lemony, mm. I've not... No, not really for me, but um, be nice lemon. Me, my lemon. You could add lemon essential oil, maybe. Look at that. That's good enough. Is that good enough? I'm gonna make a cake with it. Okay. Look at that. Even Gordon Ramsay'd love that. Right. <laughs> He makes me laugh, he does. 
always never keep still Gordon Ramsay. He's like a hey, 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 big boy, hey, and all this other <laughs> Yeah, so have you had a good week? Well not had, having a good week. If you are, fantastic. If you're not, I'm sorry, but we're halfway through. Keep going. There we go. So let's give the old, uh, the old Gillette. This is a D1, so it's a 1958 um, model. D1958, one first quarter of 1958 it was made. As I say, it's quite a mild yeah, mild razor. But hopefully you can see it's a very efficient mild razor because that blade's second use, very comfortable. Can't feel the blade at all, if you know what I mean. It's not a uh, not like some blades, like my last one, you could feel it in the Wilkinson Sword Classic, the Bic. Good audio feedback. In fact, I'd say that is on par with Wilkinson Sword in aggression. Mm. Maybe this, maybe slightly, yeah, slightly above it for me, but only very slight. This is nice. Again, not expensive products. Um, these are worth more now than what they were when they were made <laughs> like a vintage car if you look after it right wet hands hot water rub that soap in someone asked about the arco cream and the arco soap the hard soap is the slickness the same it can be but the cream is slick straight away on your face first one there with this sort of soap you'd have to um, work the lather it's more work to create it but uh, you would get the yeah it would have the same slickness but you have to work it more than you do a cream but this is good now this is the second pass and it'll add another layer of slickness and then I'll rinse again and then it'll add an, you know, so it gets better. But I've always found Arco soap very, very slick. It could be your water, I don't know, but pre soaking it, blooming it, really helps. As you can see. Second pass against the growth. Here we go. Clean the lips. Overhang. And the reason I mentioned that, I forgot to mention it. I just felt it on the tip of my the tip of my tongue. Long enough. Tip of my nose there. 
So, always need to be aware of it. I can hear some work going on somewhere. Sounds like a hedge trimmer or a chainsaw. Electric one. So you get all sorts of information in these shapes. None of it out of any use. But yeah, getting on my nerves now, this hair. <laughs> yeah, I can cut my own hair. Um, oh, there we go. One of them bumpy bits again. But I can do the back. And uh, Mrs. H, you know, I asked if she'd do it one day, but she didn't feel confident enough. Oh, am I not doing it right? And, <laughs> and there's nothing worse. If you don't feel confident, wouldn't make anybody do anything. But so I've tried myself, you see, like this, and, and using two mirrors, and I can't. Anyway, not to worry. Okay, second pass across it. Oh, that was nice. Now you see the slickness there. It is fantastic. You can feel it. Oh, that's nice. I wish you could just put your hand in. Now this blue, this, uh, the handle on this is, I think it's like a nickel. Um, yeah, it just looks, uh, compared to the others I've got, this looks how can I put it? Le the least expensive. It looks cheaper without insulting it. That bit uh, for some reason. But um, well, it's nickel, I suppose. Right, here we go. Back to the pack just a bit. Here we go. Third. Hmm. That feels warm, even though there's no warm water in that scuttle. Good winter scuttle. Um, don't know if they're still for sale, Steve. I've not seen Steve for a long time after. I keep saying they pop there. They used to sell, he had a, this is the first sort of generation scuttles. I think he had a second one out uh, a few years later. Because I uh, got that off him when I went there on uh, one visit. Right. Against the growth. We're down here. You can hear it, can you? Nice and light. Very nice. Very good slickness. Always has been for me. Tell you what, have a change. Relaxing, really enjoy it.
You can just think back, very different days then, 1958. I suppose they had their own problems then, but... I wouldn't mind going back. Somebody said you can go back for a day or something, just to see what it's like. And I'd go and buy loads of these. <laughs> Probably a Gillette toggle. I think that came out in 1956, if I'm right. That's lovely. Really nice. As I say, plain sense, nothing there, just a... That's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, very slick. Wow. Well, you know what time it is now. It's unkept hair, no haircut. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. <laughs> Blew the mic then. Oh, your speakers went as well. Sorry about that. That's beautiful. Go on, have a slick in it. Could have the local skiing club come here. Right. The old double chins are back in stock on Amazon. There's only a hundred there as I film this. Treble chins they're working on. <laughs> I'm working on mine. <coughs> working well as well. So don't forget, if your better half says to you, I'm putting a bit of weight on there. He said, well, I'm working on my double chin. Well, it depends. If you've got a double, you're working on your treble. I'm working on my treble chin, dear. For, all for wet shaving, of course. I should. Oh. <laughs> Mad, Thinking of. Uh, going out later for a bit of a walk. Sometimes I film them, sometimes I don't. Um, but I take a, a sandwiches, or butties as we call them, some of them, um, and it'll be roast beef. Sometimes I'll have a uh, horseradish on that, With uh, sometimes I'll have just mustard. But um, what I'll have is roast beef sliced spring onion chopped and pickle lily which is like a mustard vinegary pickle if you like and uh, very nice and some of my own tomatoes
and I can have that sandwich a few times when I enjoy it. You know, I might have it today, I might have it yesterday, I might have it tomorrow. Now listen to very mild rays, but listen to this. Good blade for this razor. As I say, it doesn't feel sharp, but it's certainly going through those whiskers, even these now. <laughs> Somebody asked, why do you overshave on the pickup times? Because I love it. There's nothing else to be said. And that is it. Rinse time. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, all kids. Have a look then. I did have a spec here. I still see it, but uh, nothing to worry about. Shop bought Sainsbury's in this case, which hazel, very inexpensive, not pleasantly scented. Good for the skin. That's lovely. No feedback, no tingle, nothing. That's that. I just want to use it up, that's all I've got to another bottle out of that I've not succumbed to buying any more palm olive. I've been going to the clinic to get help about that. <laughs> Seen a few of you there too, actually you didn't have a chance to say hello. Arco Action, one of my favourite scents of Arco. Even though now there's newer ones out, platinum I think, there's a gold one. I forgot the name of that one. Well gold is it called it. Them are nice. Um, this has always been a favourite. It's a strong cologne. Very alcoholy fumes now, whew, bit of a tingle, beautiful scent, but it doesn't last. Damn it! Doesn't last really. Within an hour, gone. Well, for my nose, other people may get a hint of it, maybe not. And then I don't think I've used this, I don't think I've used this in a video before. And it's Arco Aftershave Balm, fresh. I've had it for a long time but never, never used it. Oh, lovely. That's a nice scent. Oh, again, another combination, thank you. That's nice. Fresh, well, fresh scent, yeah. What can you say? There we go, look at that. Do I pass? Maybe except for that, but uh, right then. Gillette uh, Blue Tip uh, Super Speed 1958. Beautiful. Short, mild razor. Gillette 7 o'clock, sharp edge, not super sharp. Sharp edge, second use, fantastic blade. I've got a lot of them in a bag, uh, and I've not used them, and they're a good blade, they've been good in two razors now, so uh, very nice, and suited that mild, couldn't feel it as a, an aggressive blade, um, but it, you could hear and you could feel it certainly done the job, no messing, and as I say it's a mild razor, beautiful. Grey Dog, this is the Badger Brush. 
with that beautiful sort of the reddish wood cherry is it something I'm not sure uh, it's lovely like a like one of these checkerboards checkboard um, chess boards this is the big shave scuttle the first series I'm using with the arco the arco lives in that so all I do is I'll rinse it I'll show you now a lot of people ask about stuff like this how do I so I'm just under the tap now I'll show you just bear with me so that is it it's rinsed out I'll leave that now dry naturally and rinse the brush out um, that's it what do we do oh yeah put myself off rinsed off with water we used the Sainsbury's uh, is this distilled witch hazel uh, inexpensive not a for me I don't like the scent of witch hazel but it's good for the skin um, and it's a basic scent then we used Arco Action Cologne love that wish it lasts longer as I say and then this Arco Aftershave Balm fresh nice fresh scent simple uh, the few of them um, bought them a long time ago and yeah very nice feel protected smooth and happy and I hope you as well so thanks for watching yet again um, have some great shaves look after yourselves and have a great rest of the week and take care and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave wow the week's going quick so have a great week and I'll see you Sunday take care